we've got a situation hi guys alex here and today we've got a doozy so today we are heading north of the border once again up to Canada to see what's going on with our girl Chantal and she is back with rotisserie chicken mac and cheese and scallop potatoes mukbang and I am super excited it's been just a couple of days since we reacted to Chantal we watched her breakup Q&A and boy was it juicy since then she did a myriad of mukbangs but I just couldn't be bothered I mean she talked about how when she was young the popular girls used to go into the woods and that on like the other boys but she wasn't cool enough to do that she talked about how they used to smoke in the backwoods behind her high school something like that I don't know I couldn't be bothered <laughs> I can't anyways let's just get right into it I mean shall we what's holding us back now right we're here and we're queer and now it's not working okay there we go <laughs> i'm keeping that in <laughs> hello foodie beauties <laughs> as i'm still in love with you it's nice to see her giving bb june some more love we got her in the intro now she seems to give all of her ten attention to Sam. I want to see you dance again Cause I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon I just don't think that, what do they call this? Tipped nails like that really suit her. I mean, they look like talons on her, like a bear claw. All right, guys, I have quite a dinner for you today. Uh, I am very hangry. I'm very irritated right now. And uh, lashing out. I, I feel like she is always angry when she sits down to eat. And I don't know, is that Widow's Peak real? She seems to like to draw on a Widow's Peak every now and again. Yeah, picked up on my way home today. Um, went to sign the lease for the new place. Oh, my God, oh, my God. And That's a I lot of mac and cheese. Like, that is just a side dish for her, apparently. But that would feed a family of four. Okay, let's be real, too. I picked up at the grocery store. They make uh, mac and cheese in store. Is that from Farm Boy? Scallop potatoes. Naughty, naughty, Chantal. And <gasps> Did you guys see that? Oh, my God. The celery stick stuck to the bottom of her plate. Why is that so funny to me? Chicken. And these are just... Some um, celery with laughing cow cheese. Need a bite? I need a bite. What is with her cheese obsession? Mm. Laughing cow cheese. I noticed that Life by Jen got a lot of cheese in her grocery haul. Chantal, we remember the infamous mukbang where she just ate the cheese off of the ZD, whatever. I've been running all day on a Starbucks refresher. I filled it with them. Um, this is a sparkling water. I can't remember the name, but it's like watermelon lime flavor. Healthy. I don't want to let the ice go to waste. Mm -hmm. Right, because ice is a valuable resource. And I can't help but remember, did you guys ever go to Guru Gossip back in the day? For some reason, they were obsessed with Trisha Paytas's nails and how she would always like lick them. And I don't know, for some reason, I was thinking about that today. They would talk about how like there was fecal matter under her nails. A couple more jars of these bean and olives. What happened to the pickle plate? Is that they spill when you try to open them. Like, girl, can't you get this, like, sorted out before you press play on the camera? Okay, that's a bit better, I think. Ugh. Anyway, bean and olive. Eat a bite. 
Piri, piri, piri. So they're olives, like queen green olives, stuffed with a spicy bean. And they're sour, but they're so good. All right. That's a small chicken. Black pepper. Can scalloped potatoes without black pepper in? Scallop potatoes, yes, they're easy to make. But honestly, guys, this didn't feel like it today. This looks like grandma's country country cooking. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to be honest. I have a cold, and yeah, I just don't want to. All right. Hot sauce on mac and cheese. This is Frank's. She's giving me like a little bit of sumo wrestler tea, like the guy from Mulan. They always had in Mulan the top bun. Red hot. <clears throat> I also have to use an asthma pump now. Like like a I don't technically have as asthma, but I love how she just casually throws that in there. Do you guys have any rumor and speculation about that one? Get the people talking, girl. You know how. When I get sick, I get like that. Wee okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but how sick can she really be? I mean, if I was sick, I would probably have like some chicken noodle soup, a light sandwich... I can usually eat pretty well when I'm sick, but I probably wouldn't have a giant thing of mac and cheese and a small rotisserie chicken and scallop potatoes and celery with bluebell cheese on it. Mm. 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 That was highly requested. I love when she shh. Tell us, girl. the haters this is a barbecue like they have like a you know like a section with like section ready cooked meals and stuff there's potatoes so i'm taking that the fast food drive through wasn't enough for her she kind of has to go to the grocery store all you can eat to go buffet these days are tender have onions. Ugh. She's really smacking them so today. Like a section you can get like a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, I think we all have grocery Oops. stores. Fried chicken. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of fried chicken, I've been wanting to try that donut thing from KFC. It's two donuts with a piece of fried chicken in the middle. But I'm on a journey. <laughs> I'm trying to eat less than... Trying to eat like around 1,500 calories a day. And that would be like my entire load just blown in one meal. But I really want to try it. Is that nice? It'll be a little food beauty heart design. <laughs> load blown. Hi, Sam. I'm not giving him any chicken because... It's hard to tell when it's, like, small and in the corner, but I feel like her lipstick just looks really sloppy. I feed them, <clears throat> and then they don't eat the food. Just think of, like, all the bacteria under her nails, unless she uses, like, a good antibacterial soap and scrubs there's got to be a lot under there like the bum you know she was just farting and itching her butt so i'll have a story time plan today i mean we don't not get every, nothing there's gonna be a story time i prefer to have a topic on hand but this is kind of like an impromptu video So she was really hungry and um, just really busy today and just getting home. What exactly was she busy with? I mean, didn't she say 
I think she said she was signing her lease for her and Pete's. That ought to be interesting. She claims that there's no spark there, but I don't know. I see some butterflies. What do you guys think? So I guess it's just more like sit down and have dinner with me. Do you guys remember? I hate to keep bringing her up. Trisha Paytas, when she ate all the KFC skin, like she just ate the chicken skin. And I wanted to post that on Twitter. I thought it was funny. And I realized she has like five videos just eating chicken skin. <laughs> Kind of thing. Memphis barbecue. I got this at Walmart. Of course you do. Probably in any grocery store around here. I mean, that would make sense, right? Jeez, do we need like that on the side as well? It just seems a little bit overindulgent. Just a tiny little bit. A tiny little bit. So yeah, this place has a gem, a really nice gem. I was just watching Charlie Gold's retro react to Chantal, and she was talking about how she was wondering whether or not Chantal would look back on her mukbangs of the yesteryear. And if she would do it differently, if she would continue on the same path or if she would change up despite the money, popularity and infamy, it's a good question. So in the community, remember the little old lady in these commercials? Like I put that shit on everything. <laughs> it's like anytime an older person swears. Is that you? <laughs> You know who's really cool? That grandma who cooks and swears. She's the best. Can't remember her channel name. I guess anyone proper. Beauty virtues are you chicken bite. <laughs> Not every bite's beautiful, sweetheart. Mm. Okay, I'll stop with the beauty bite today. So yeah, today this is like, it's getting late, so, and I, and I have more. I have to change my shirt and film two more mukbangs before going to sleep tonight, guys. It's going to be a busy night. BB's going to regret wanting to share that bed with me now. <laughs> I'm eating my cheat day. Things to do early tomorrow. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> Sorry about this drab background, you guys. I'm in the middle of shifting things around a lot and where I wanted to film before I had it all set up and ready to go, but it was so echoey because the room is just like very narrow and long. Hmm. It's really upsetting. I don't know why I closed the jar. <laughs> Have to get back into that pickle plate. I was like really hungry as you can see. I'm just eating. It's honestly a little bit obscene. I'm just kind of like eating what I want right now, like today. Girl, today. This meal, because it's pretty much the only meal I'm going to be eating today. I'm eating my cheat day. Man. Some good mac and cheese. But yeah. I remember in an old mukbang of hers, she was like, on the days I'm going to do mukbangs, of course, they're going to be over the top. You know, that's just what a mukbang is. But every other day, I'm going to eat healthy. And then she started doing fast food mukbangs like every single day. So... So I will for sure. 
when I move. Do an apartment tour, obviously. I saw that she wrote on her community page that she was so thankful that the she wasn't going to be living with roaches anymore. It's not really an apartment, it's like a house. <laughs> like, you'll see. <clears throat> I need to get a barbecue. And we're going to go furniture shopping. Um, Apparently there was a bug in one of the backgrounds of her recent mukbang. <laughs> Does it get any grosser than that? I mean, she's coming for Amy Slayton. And yeah, like Pier 1 Imports is closing in Canada. So I want to get some like stuff on sale. That's a tragedy. Can't dumpster dive there after they close. Are we going to get more dumpster diving videos? Because I am super excited. I swear people only find that gross because it's me and they want to pick on something. But when other YouTubers do it, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> you know, I think if you set out to do a dumpster diving channel, it might be different. But you're coming at an audience who is not used to that kind of thing. I thought it was entertainment. Oh no, here we go again. Because they have no life. Like, if you like look, there's like a hole dumpster dive community out there and there's like not one negative comment usually on their videos so yeah i've yeah. seen it and those people set up their channels and they go and they get nice things usually not food and plus it's edited nicely it's not it's nothing like yours girl if you want to know more about why people dumpster dive just Ooh. do the research I mean a lot of that stuff is going to go to the landfill so unless you don't care about that stuff then you know perfectly good stuff that's like not garbage not everything that goes in the trash is garbage except when you're in there oh do you guys like scalloped potatoes There, but. So yeah, I do want to do more of those videos. Then do them. Some of you like them, but it doesn't matter. I like them. I think they're entertaining. I think that's worth doing more. You know, don't let the people in the comment section dictate what you want to do on your channel. Oh, therefore. It obviously hasn't stopped you from doing mukbangs. Now has that? I will do that. And if you don't, if it grosses you, you don't have to watch them. You know? So. It isn't the prettiest thing to look at, is it? I think yeah. it's an interesting combination. I mean, we're doing food most days, and then occasionally we're in a dumpster. It's interesting. This week, I missed Mystery Monday. I didn't even realize it was Monday until it was too late. <laughs> so, I do have something I want to talk about on Mystery Monday. Next Monday. I think it's cool that she likes true crime. Um... That's interesting, right? But the thing that bothers me about that is the fact that she's, like, eating. And she'll be like, yeah, this guy, he, like, blew his head off. Like, have a little class. You know, you can discuss sensitive topics. That's not... Like those off limits. <clears throat> Same thing with, I haven't done a creepy pass in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they usually involve you eating while reading off of a laptop, so that's, you know. I just want it to be like May 15th. Because we have to move Why? May 15th and it's just like, oh. Oh, I have so much to do before then. 
Ooh. Imagine the feast once she gets everything into the apartment and her ring light and camera and computer set up. The amount of food that's going to be on that mukbang video. It's going to be astonishing. Like not even gonna be fun at all well it would be fun kind of just starting from scratch like everything you know what i mean who mm. gets the bed i would like to know where bb is going like is he staying there are you getting a brand new bed are you just gonna get one bed for you to share with pete <laughs> No, Sam. Here, Sam. Here, Sam. Here, Sam. Yuck. <clears throat> all right, enough of these beans and all. Sam. Sorry, guys. I mean... Mac and cheese and cat hair. I know gross is some of you out that the cats are on the table, but... That's... They go on the table. <laughs> you know? It doesn't bug me, so... It's just, I mean, Sam is, has, oh my goodness, you guys, Sam has some long hair and that's going to be flying off, especially when he has his tail wagon and you just ate that off of your shirt. Out. That's worse. That was worse than a cat on a table. Maybe it should, but it just doesn't, you know, I don't know why. It's just, you're it filming. I said no chicken, but... They walk in front of the camera every <laughs> single video. You'd think that you would just, you know, block them out of the room. <sighs> His little face came up here and he was like, chicken! <laughs> For 30 minutes, that's not gonna hurt. I just gave him a little piece. <sighs> I think I would be one of those parents, like. <laughs> Mama's got to make her money. <laughs> I mean, Amy's life journey locks her kids out of the room for 30 minutes to film. Who spoils their kids? So it's probably good that I'm not a parent. <laughs> probably not. No. So today is just like, I find like my mood lately. Like since I'm not on any like mood altering medication and it's just my moods, I notice that they kind of like coincide with weather. Like I just feel. It was rainy today and I felt a little melancholy. <laughs> I see where she's coming from. Thumbnail. Because I call it like pathetic fallacy in like liter literary terms, but like my mood matches the weather because like oh, it's gloomy, super gloomy today, and I feel gloomy. <laughs> it was raining, it was messy out there, wet, cold. Man, those are good potatoes. Yep, that was today. Mm. And there was like no sun, like it was not sunny at all. And if it's nice and the sun is out, I'm in like the best mood. Oh, I can't stop thinking about the fecal matter on those nails when she's sucking them. Oh gosh, you guys, that's so disgusting. I guess the sun can't shine every day, <laughs> like that song says. I always get songs in my head. And like depending on the song, it could depress me. See, look at that. She just like, like the time possibly got some nasal snot on them. Um, like for days, I had Harvest Moon by Neil Young. And I love that song, but it kind of like makes me, it's like melancholic, you know, kind of. <laughs> Even though it's like. Word of the day. Melancholy. Maybe because it's about love and stuff like that. But. Now I have, um, 
Uh, maybe some of you don't know that song. If you don't, look up Neil Young's Harvest Moon. Like, well, I'm still in love with you. The, the only Harvest time. Moon I know is the Farm Simulator on Nintendo. <laughs> now I have that song from the 90s. Thumbs up. If that's, that's what you guys think it's like, of. On the tip of my tongue. Maybe you guys know it's like, um, I love is like water pinned down in abuse for being strange. <laughs> like, songs from the 90s never made sense because, like, our love is like water pinned down and abused for being strange. There's nothing, is water strange? It's like rain. And is it pinned down and abused? Like, I just um, don't get it. Anyway, I don't get poetry. Like, I took, in university, I took a lot of poetry classes that I had to take. Some were elective, and I was like, why did I do this? I think a lot of it was because I wanted to learn how to read and interpret poetry more. Wasn't she, like, an English major? Is that... Yikes. But I just, like, I didn't get it. Like... <laughs> Especially, like, I took, like, a feminist poetry class. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sounds about right for liberal arts colleges these days. Excuse me. No, that was boring. I skipped it a lot. <laughs> Still <laughs> ended up passing. I'm one of those people that can, like, skip, like, half the semester and still manage to bullshit my way through an essay and still get... I don't know. I just get passing grades. I get pretty decent grades, too. That's the thing about some college classes. Others, mandatory attendance. Worst thing ever. B plus with missing half the class. <laughs> like the professor was so boring too. It doesn't help. Like if you have a really awesome professor, like we had a history teacher in grade six. Uh, no, sorry, grade six, grade 11. I'll never forget him. I had the biggest crush on him because he would love teaching. You could tell. You'd go to class, you'd have a theme. Teacher's of pat, teacher's pat, teacher's pat, te sorry guys. On the board. And he would in integrate his lesson into this theme that made you understand it. Instead of apples, she brought him a Big Mac. And um, I remember like, I one time had like, I, I was in a vocal class and um, I had to do a solo and it was that um, brother where thou like, um, what's that song? As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way. And so that song, and... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I don't think she's the worst singer, you guys. It's not, like, that bad. Cold. And, um... But, on side note on the cold, I think the vitamins I'm taking every day, those Mary Ruth vitamins plus the minerals at night, I think they're helping because my mom... I caught this from my mom, and she's, like, super sick. Like, she has to be on antibiotics... She's on prednisone. It might just be different doctors. All right, come on, hurry it up. I got to drive through. I got to head up before 12 a.m. I was like, I love you. And he married a chubby woman, too, and he was really good looking. I think he's the principal now. <sighs> Anyways, reminiscing. I saw someone bring this up on Twitter, and it's the fact that she always has stories from her youth and that's pretty much it her adult life seems to have been quite uneventful um yeah anyway i also like apparently somebody said somebody like a couple people subscribe not many but a couple and they're like here from sniper wolf and i'm like sniper wolf like sometimes i watch her reactions to things because she's really funny she doesn't react to always the same person like as a target to attack them she like she reacts to different things like dr phil uh was foodie beauty in a sniper wolf video <laughs> things you know and mukbangs i i fully agree i watch mukbang cringe because mukbangs are cringe in a way i i totally accept that oh you got away from me you little bitch that um uh, could definitely be added to the next cringe compilation <laughs> damn i'm full except for this <laughs> i'm gonna put it all in the same container and eat it whenever. Or BB will. He's playing the game. Um, she always says, like, this is for BB, or, like, I'm saving this for BB. I have a hard time really believing that. If I got it, just eat, like, a main meal like this. And maybe some fruit or something with my vitamins in the morning if I need to. If I could cut off here, because it's still early enough, that I could cut off here have water and tea for the rest of the night i would be okay i would lose weight so i just gotta like you know it's eating when i'm not hungry that's the problem 
like I'm full pretty full like I'm not like gross full I don't know usually when I'm like <clears throat> <clears throat> that means I'm like over full so <laughs> Sniper Wolf was reacting to, apparently, I think my, I gotta watch the video. I guess part of my video with the fart, <laughs> the 5 a.m. mac and cheese. And I'm fart. eating my cheats, eh? Honestly, I don't know if I just don't have any shame, like looking the cheese off the plate, but. That was the worst. I showed that to my mom because I was like, can you even believe this? And she was like, put that away. Have some class. <laughs> If it didn't gross people out so much, I wouldn't do out it. Of respect for you guys, <laughs> I would definitely fart in like every video, probably multiple times. Because I oh yeah, that's for respect for your viewers. Okay. And when I watch like Nick Akato and he farts, I laugh. <laughs> it's just funny. I don't know. I'm immature like that. I'm immature in that way. In a way that doesn't really matter, you know? Potty humor is just so immature. I mean, it's so Nickelodeon. It's so five. I mean, immature in other ways, too. I'm not going to say that I'm not. You know, but that's life. You grow as a person. Hopefully, that's that's the point of life. But, but when you watch your videos, it seems like you've regressed. Yeah. Anyways, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Like, I'm making myself grumpy now. I have issues. Anyways. Anyways. This is really good. I think it's called Aha. I'm like sparkling water. There's no sweeteners. Sparkling water is like so in right now. One of my viewers and friends said that she finds that soda water tastes like TV fuzz. That's like the perfect and not like the perfect comparison. Cause you ever go up to a screen when it's like, like a TV screen, like the old ones, the ones like in those for young people, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't remember those. But you go up to the screen, you smell it. and you get, like, I'm just kidding. I do. Your nose. It kind of smells like what this tastes like. I totally get it. Okay. Giving time I've heard that before. That's not, um, something a viewer made up. That is like something that's been going around the internet for a while now. I'm to settle in. Yeah, I'm full. I need to eat slower. I say that all the time. But apparently whenever you like getting hungry is serious business. Being hangry is an actual hormonal change in your body. Like I was reading that book, Food Junkies. Food Junkies and it's like whenever it's like time to eat, your your brain wants glucose. So it's like time to eat, like give me food, like give me food. <laughs> That's how I picture it. Eat. Give me pizza. P I Z Z A. Um <laughs> Does that so even it, like, releases all these hormones like ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone and when it, Growling, the ghrelin yeah. goes up, gets more intense you get irritable like right like i was before this video she's read a lot of web md articles about this y'all <laughs> um insulin i don't remember what they say about insulin but that's another thing that's yeah that's, that's important so i should read that um and then apparently your body releases leptin to say you've had enough to eat and then food isn't supposed to be as pleasurable anymore like dopamine gets released because things like that in life are supposed to be pleasurable to ensure we do them like sex pleasurable so that we do it so that we don't die out as a race food dopamine pleasurable so that you do it and then leptin is a hormone stop and then food is not pleasurable but like prater willie syndrome i think that you're you're just not either you have a hypersensitivity to leptin or you don't have enough I can't oh my god i've heard about that have you guys seen the um documentaries about prater willie their family has to put padlocks on the fridge and um cabinets so that they don't eat themselves to death it's it's really interesting and it's really sad but if you are the hormones get mixed up especially if like you're at a buffet the overstimulation of all the foods and everything just keeps releasing like an overload of dopamine from it's a conspiracy it overpowers the leptin you know so it's like it's a really interesting like really interesting book anyways but it's like your brain is powerful when it's hungry i'm telling you it's like you know so anyways um i guess that's your lesson for today foodie beauties anyways oh, that's weird okay it's oh. all that dopamine girl i'm gonna go and uh the rush edit this video <laughs> and uh i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye love you guys I'm shocked.
That was a lot of food. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.